Hey folks, so I'm packing up the Augustus McRae and I'm going to Collins Lake. Never been there. Going up on uh, Friday and uh, gonna stay up there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Come back on Monday and do some fishing from the shore. I'm getting all my stuff ready here uh, for the Augustus McRae. Got my ice jar. You don't need to go through all that stuff. So I'm getting all my stuff together right now. And uh, we're gonna load this thing up. And in the morning, we're gonna leave. Freshly packed and ready to go. Uh, Sean from the X7B series shot that buck. Uh, he's gonna come with his nephew Cameron. And uh, we're gonna do some trolling from the boat. But man, I tell you, with all this rain this year, I am ready to do some trout fishing. And it's gonna be a good time. Beautiful morning, Collins Lake. Just waiting on Shannon, Sean, and Cameron. They're just up the road. They'll be here any minute. See what the fish are doing. You can see what we did last time. <laughs> 10, 12 feet of the water column, really. Yeah. They're not they're not really suspended far down, and although you can see like bait fish and stuff down here at the very bottom of that ledge, and then over here you can see them a little bit better too. I fucking get it. Uh, out of that lure. Is it spinning? With corn? A good fish, man. Yeah, it was. Yeah. This is the one fish that we've caught so far. And this is the lure that we caught him on. What's this lure now? It's a, just a lake troll with a hoochie, a spin blade. And I'll make them custom lengths, double sure. hook. Different colors? Different colors, yeah. I make all you know, different colors, different sizes. Got some of these. And it's all preferably whatever, you know. I make I make certain things that I know the colors that work and also um, different sizes produce different action. Yeah. And if you guys have a special request on a different color, I know I can always make that. According to Onyx Maps, on the other side of this dam, up on both hillsides and down and dropping down is uh, Doherty Hill, it's public land, as well as some on the other side of the lake that we we'll, might check out be in that area uh, later. But I'm gonna end the video, I'm gonna include a map of uh, Collins Lake and uh, how Onyx shows where the public land is. Here, I'll get in. So you'll see that as well. Set it, put it under. 
uh, Procure sweet corn. Oh, yeah. This is some prime camping spots right there. Now that the water's up, well, we're at it's about maximum capacity for the water, isn't it? I yeah. think it is at 100. We're gonna fish for 20 minutes. Should we air horn them? No. <laughs> yeah, do it. Later. Taking a snooze. Uh, hands in the water, sleeping. Gonna make himself pee. <laughs> Where at, where's this at? This is over by the Dead River. Yeah. Uh, below Night's Landing. Yeah. And uh, we were going to our sturgeon hole, and we see this boat, and it's kind of in the trees, you know? Like, Damn, that's kind of odd. And I mean, there's stuff floating down the water. The water's ripping. A couple of days later, we actually talked to him. He got his truck stuck. His boat's still there in the trees. He goes, yeah, man, I was up by the bridge and the, the water, I, I think something caught his anchor line or something. He broke loose and he couldn't slow his boat down. The boat wouldn't start. So he tied a rope to his generator and whoosh, used it as an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped him, got him where he needed to be, I bet. All right, guys, we got one fish on the board. Yeah, we're due for uh, number two. Fishy, fishy number two. Where Just are you? One at a time. That'd be fine. Thanks and cheeks. Getting anything? No, you guys. What's that? Nothing. Nothing? You guys? We got one. Oh, that's good. How deep you guys going? Oh, okay. Did you say 18? Yeah. We, we were at about 70. And right at the tip of that, it, it comes just, up quick. It uh, just came up and it kind of. Three hours since the last fish. What do you guys think the problem is? Is it just murky water? $7,000 question right there, Rich. I don't know if we knew what the problem was. We are changing. <laughs> We're changing depths. We're changing colors. We're changing, changing speed. So we're trying it. We're working it. We haven't seen many nets uh, flying either. Yeah. They haven't. Nobody from shore was seen brilling in the end. Well, we know there's trout in here. Kids derby today. We have a, an assumption that they're nice enough to dump them where the kids are going to be fishing. So we're going to cruise over there and see how the kids are doing. <laughs> yeah, we come in real close, catch a bunch of their lines, you know, maybe catch a leader or two. <laughs> 
So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the area where they stock it. <laughs> where they pump where they pump the fish out of a big truck out of, the out of the tank of the truck into the lake. That's a uh, is that gold or silver? Gold with red. Go ahead. Thing is, Go ahead, Richard. Get him, Richard. Here. I'm gonna reel this one. Go ahead. All right, we're on. I got the net. Right on. Come on. Yeah, he's coming right at you. Come in on this side of you. And lift up. Pull him in. There you go. Sweet. Nice job, Richard. Pull some line out. Nice hook release. What depth was that one at? Yeah. 12. 12? Awesome. I think we're on on the other one too. Yeah. Where are we at here in the. Right. Nice fish. Right. No Show me uh good job. What'd you catch what we catch that on? Oh spin glue. Alright. You make these, huh? Yep. Yeah, that was awesome. And then here you can see. We it. got it. We got it down there like 12 feet. Yeah, yeah I had that one at 12. Like. Surprise window pop up and hit it right now. Good. Yeah. <laughs> what I normally I did on this one, I did 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, all the way to 10. Right. And then yeah, get it away from the boat. Get it so now you can see it, it's back yeah. there. It's not too far, but far enough. And then bring this up. And then when the fish hits it. It pulls that out. Yeah, it sets the hook. It sets the hook. Yeah, I didn't have to. I didn't have to set the hook or anything. Nope. And he was only. He's only about eight feet from the boat. When he jumped, he jumped. Yeah. He the kicker motor. Yeah, we didn't get that on video. He jumped. In the we start scrambling. It was cool. Yeah, that was my first uh, first fish off a of downrigger. Right on. That was awesome. Right on. Are we at right now? Uh, 28 on this one and uh, 12 on that one. And what are the fish finder saying? We're at 70 feet on the bottom, and then there's there's fish there, and at 50. There's a few up top. Hey, look at that. Yeah, that's the fish. A legit fish, according to this. <laughs> according to this high-tech uh, hummingbird. Pre-programmed. It's in it display says, mode. It says fish. <laughs> Front gloves, look at that. <laughs> that's 68, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's the largest concentration of fish. Right on the bottom. Awareness Month lure. Yeah. <laughs> and then a single, single bladed. That one looks nice. Different colors. I mean, I'm sure they'd work for rockfish or, or not rockfish, but uh, halibut. You know, trolling these because sometimes you can, you'll tie these on hoochies, those hoochies for uh, halibut. Control those behind the dog. It's lunchtime, and he's gonna get as close as he can to my campsite because I'm up on one of these mid levels. And uh, we're gonna come down and pick him up in the van. Tell him about how I want to fish that cove off the bank. I go, there's a guy catching a fish right now. Yeah, I, I seen casting. that. I was casting oh. to the bank, that cast master, and 
o'clock, you know, wham, you know? I got them all the way up to the boat. The net got hung up oh, shit. on the side rail, and I'm like trying to do it. <laughs> what was it, a trout or bass? Oh, yeah, no, nice trout. <laughs> I saw you guys driving. I'm sitting there fighting it. So today for the lunch special, we're having ground deer, ranch's sausage. So we're gonna blend the two to make an even more premium mix. Grade A, 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 A. It, it, it's ranchers meeting deer hunters. Only something good can come from that. Right. <laughs> Sausage. Look at these guys, man. They come to camp, they take me out on the boat, catching a couple nice rainbow trout. Now they got deer meat. The rancher sausage. I mean, what more can yeah. you ask? I mean, what more? Fishing for deer, eating venison. That's right. I mean, fishing for. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> fishing for venison. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Got the deer burgers on the grill. I'm over here, I'm sweating down some onions, and mushrooms, and peppers, and garlic. Maybe. Then we're gonna get back to some catching. That's right. I like you throwing that. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, we're two fish on, and we're looking for 13 more. Back at it, round two after lunch. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. So we're, we're dropping them to the bottom. We're gonna scrape the bottom of this lake for them. Right. Nothing after lunch so far. Seeing uh, fish down more toward the 65, 70 feet depth, so we're dropping down. We're gonna make another pass deep. Maybe that'll change our luck. We'll pass that was on the fucking left. it! I tell you! <laughs> edit, 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 edit. Oh, you weren't going then, were you? Made a pass around the whole lake after lunch. God. These guys are going out on a charter boat tomorrow, too. I think I would have left this lake a half an hour ago. <laughs> I didn't see one other boat with a net in the air, reeling anything in. Didn't see anybody from the bank. That doesn't mean they didn't catch them from the bank, but we just had not witnessed anybody catching any fish today. Caught two fish here, and then as me and Sean were going back to the camp to meet Cameron, we seen Cameron from the side of the road in the middle of that fish that got off the line. And other than that, these other boats you see them rolling them in but all morning nothing so uh his camera's lures it's his lures are the <laughs> yeah caught the only fish on the lake this right. time around man yeah well get back to the boat dock and uh these guys are probably gonna trailer up and call it a day because they're gonna they got a big uh, journey they're gonna take tomorrow Do some charter fishing. What are you guys going after again? Halibut. Halibut? Yeah. Going halibut fishing. But uh, I'll be here tomorrow <laughs> in the morning and I'll be bank fishing. So we caught two fish today and these are the two big winners. Which ones are these? What do you call these ones? Well, this is a micro spin glow and this is a trolling uh, hoochie. Okay. And uh, like I said earlier, we didn't catch any, we didn't see anybody else catch any fish. All the people that we've talked to, so they hadn't caught anything. So, I mean, I doubt we're the only ones on the lake that caught fish, honestly. The two that were planted, we caught. Yeah. <laughs> These are the big winners of the day. What's your Instagram? Uh, we got, uh, my Instagram is 51 Gill Villain Tackle on Instagram. Uh, 51 Gill Villain. Yeah, and then uh, Richard will leave a link in the description along with my number. Feel free to call me, text me, 
uh, anytime. If you have a special request of any type of lure that you want made, or you see one that I've already made, just uh, let me know which one you like and which one you want, and I'll get them out to you. So you you will find that in the description box of this video. You go in there. We'll have his name, his Instagram page. It will be a link. You just click the link. It will bring you right to his Instagram page. Also under that, I'm going to put his phone number. You can go ahead and give him a call and uh, ask about some uh, some gear. You know, give you prices and doing all that and give you a catalog of what he has. But uh, we're going to meet up definitely with both Sean and Cameron here in the future. We're going to do some more fishing with these guys. And he's going to demonstrate... Uh, more of his product in future episodes but for right now this is probably going to call it a day i'm here till monday so i might be doing a little bit of shore fishing this evening but if not i'll be definitely doing some uh some fishing tomorrow morning oh, here we go <laughs> show us them cones man <laughs> well the fishing might not have been that great at lake collins that weekend but the ice cream from what they tell me is always good and i tell you what that day that afternoon it really did take. those are some big boy cones right there man i tell you the guys the next day went out on their charter with valley bay sports fishing and uh, they ended up bringing in five halibut here's some pictures of those and they had a, a really great time i fished the next day off the bank i didn't catch anything i didn't catch anything i just it was a fluke weekend and that's all i got to say about that I mean, I had a good time. I had some good dinners. I had a couple good campfires. I got to go fishing with some friends and you just can't beat that. If you wanna see more of Cameron's stuff, go ahead and check him out at 51 Gil Villain underscore tackle on Instagram. Also in the description box, I'm gonna provide his phone number so you can give him a call or give him a text. Well, hey, that's it for this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the page. If you'd like to make a contribution to help keep me on the road, you'll find a PayPal me link in the description box. That's it. We'll see you next time on California Public Land Hunter. See ya.